I guess um, going into the game tomorrow, it's going to be about putting the re result on Saturday to one side and, and, and moving on swiftly. Uh, no, um, it's about harnessing what we've got and who we are and where we are. It's uh, um, uh, for me the the reflection on every result, regardless of uh, the outcome or um, the emotion that's attached to it. It's uh, how is that going to improve us? Um, I think that we've got to take stock at where we are. Um, I think you look at the game. Um, I said afterwards I didn't think that we performed to the levels where we can really be um, devastated about uh, losing the point in terms of the situation it was because I don't like to feel as though moments in a game um, is the different, different factor for a win and a loss. I think that you should stack the odds so far in your favour favor that um, you do enough and I felt that we didn't. Um, threaten their goal in the 18 yard box with the quality um, that we, we normally can so therefore you're always liable when it's nil-nil um, for a, a sucker punch and uh, a heartbreak at the end but we've got to look at uh, how we can improve as a result of it um, and in terms of since we've come in the the reaction from setback has been good um, the boys in that changing room um, I saw the pain in their, in their bodies and their faces afterwards um, and it was it was difficult for, for me to see um, but the way they conduct themselves is for me the, the most important thing um, I feel as though how we all conduct ourselves on this planet uh, we'll get the, the rewards I feel the, what we put in will get out um, and I think it's just emotional reset for all of us um, uh, tactical, technical, physical reset as well um, because we've got an objective that we want to achieve together um, and everything that comes our way we've got to use that as ammunition and um, bring us closer together and more determined and more focused so I'm hoping that will have a positive effect And I suppose they don't come much tougher than, than taking on a team that's, that's top of the league when uh, next up No um, A very experienced manager with um, a wealth of talent and yeah we've We've been watching them, and yeah, I think um, they're, they're probably the, the most threatening team in terms of the firepower and the, the quality in their, their um, squad. And we know the pitches, yeah, is going to um, play its part. But for both teams, because one thing that they do is they mix mix their game up so well. They can go long. They've got the physicality. They can play through the thirds, um, and they're just extremely good players. Um, they're always looking to cause problems. And something you already alluded to: the the fact that your team bounces back from from defeats. You know, I, I think it's the last five you've won directly after losing. I mean, that shows shows an awful lot of character. It does, yeah. Um, and the boys have that in abundance. So. You know, we, we've just got to harness what we can. We've got to control the controllables. We've got to um, dust ourselves down, make sure that we turn up tomorrow um, and we really understand who we are, what we stand for and how good we can be. And we've just got to fuel everything into um, getting to those levels because we know we've, we've got to hit the uh, maximum to, to stand the chance. Um, a few of your players, and, and, and yourself included, have, have now started to look towards the end of the season and, and have started mentioning, certainly to me, that it's you know you, you've got your goal in mind now. It feels like there's a, a, a steely determined nature now as we've entered the, the final part of the season that you guys are focused on on what you want and and how you're going to go about going to get it. Um, yeah, I think it's, uh, it's more of an individual. Uh, each uh, one of us have got a different way. Um, of course, there's always a big picture, um, and the start of every season, you know. People are asking, what's the expectation? And there isn't any. It's just win, win the first game, and that's that's how it is today. We we feel as though everything has to be process driven, um, without trying to hide away from expectation and uh, what we demand of ourselves and what supporters and you know the fans and the board uh, want and expect. The maximum way of achieving that is to chunk it all the way down to how can we. Um, be the very best in training today because we know we need to be switched on and focused. We need to um, intake all the information and detail we possibly can because yeah, tomorrow. So of course, yeah, there's there's a, a journey that we're all on, but it starts uh, right now in terms of looking forward to preparing for Mansfield. Um, injury-wise, how's everybody getting on? Obviously, Philip Marshall's still still out. 
Oh, oh, it certainly was on Saturday anyway. Yes, um, I don't think there's there's very much changed. I think um, we'll reflect today. I um, haven't actually spoke to the physio yet um, in terms of any knocks and niggles um, from from the weekend. So I think it's larger as it was. Um, we saw Max Dean in the uh, away end on, on Saturday and you know you mentioned a few times he's been chomping at the bit to get back but it, it shows what what it means to him as well that, that he's down there on, on, on Saturday with the with the supporters yeah yeah he's uh, he's a huge character and um, we spoke about him before at such a young age but no he, he really sums us up as a group um, there's a lot of passion a lot of determination um, and yeah he wanted to be with the boys um, and I think that's the whole group I think the nature of the uh, the game probably we would have had a few more there if uh, it wasn't uh, a dangerous situation or to be targeted. Um, but yeah, Max is Max, and he asked, and uh, all, all for it, bring him, bring him along, bring him part of it, being connected with the boys, and he, he definitely adds to the fuel. Um, with with away games like that, do you, do you like to see your injured players maybe coming along? Um, it's one of them where I want to um, come away from as much generic social rules as mm. possible so um, I, I lay no hard and um, fixed rule um, because I know that there'll be certain lads that give everything in the week and um, add incredible amounts um, but they've various reasons whether it be family or that you know can't make the game so of course it, all the boys are always welcome to be in and around it um, but I want everyone to add their personality in their unique way um, so I want them, the boys down there, to be driving everything we do um, in their own, in their own way. Like I say, and not just be able to stamp hard and fast rules. And that's what I expect. And, you know, the generic kind of everyone's got to do this and everyone's got that. From gym sessions to to meal plans to training programs to all things like that. I want them to figure it out for themselves individually. Therefore, maximise it, and then collectively we'll be stronger for it.